हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम एम ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ कंटिन्यूस बीम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट थीरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर फॉर फोर्थ सेमिस्टर डिप्लोमा सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट स्टार्ट Question number one: The beam resting over more than two supports is known as a fixed beam, b simply supported beam, c continuous beam, d none of the above. Now this is the definition of continuous beam. When the beam is supported over more than two support, it is known as continuous beam. Hence the correct answer is c continuous beam. Question number two. For applying Clapeyron's theorem of three moments, minimum dash 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 consecutive spans are to be considered: A three, B four, C two, and D none of the above. Now, when we are applying Clapeyron's theorem of three moment, we have to consider two consecutive spans at a time. Hence, the correct answer is C two. Question number three. For a continuous beam carrying all downward loads, the nature of bending moment developed at mid span is dash dash dash, and the nature of bending moment developed at intermediate support is dash dash dash. So two blanks we have to fill in this. Option A is hogging sagging. Option B is sagging hogging. Option C is sagging sagging, and option d is hogging sagging now we know that whenever a beam is subjected to downward loads at the mid span sagging bending moment is induced and over the support intermediate support hogging bending moment is induced hence the correct answer of this question is b sagging hogging question number 4 for a continuous B may be C, end A is hinge. The B M at the support A will be A zero, B positive, C negative, D none of the above. When the support is hinged or simply supported, definitely the moment at that support will be zero. Hence, the correct answer is A zero. Question number five. A beam ABC is fixed at A and supported over B such that AB is equal to six meter. Overhang BC is equal to one point five meter. If a downward point load of twenty kilo newton acts at free end C, then the moment at support B will be A thirty kilo newton meter hogging, B twenty kilo newton meter sagging, C thirty kilo newton meter sagging, D twenty kilo newton meter hogging. Now look here. Except some few questions in the beginning, all the questions which are formed, these are framed on the problems of continuous beam. Hence, before solving this, before getting the correct answer, it is necessary to draw the figure, and then you have to find out the answer. Now, in this case, overhang BC. Is 1.5 meter and load of 20 kilo newton acts at free end C. Therefore, movement at B. Now, BC is overhang which acts as a cantilever. Hence, the moment is to be calculated as we calculate it for cantilever. Hence, the bending moment at B will be 20 into 1.5. That is 30 kilo newton meter. And as it is cantilever, it will be hogging. Hence, the correct answer is. A thirty kilo newton meter hogging. Question number six: The end A of a continuous beam ABC is fixed. While analyzing the beam using three moment theorem, an imaginary zero span is considered. Dash 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 A to the left of A, B to the right of A, C to the left of C, and D to the left of C. Now when Any end is fixed. You have to consider an imaginary zero span beyond that particular end. 
as the case may be means if the end is left hand then you have to consider to the left if right end is fixed then you have to consider to the right so here end a is of abc means a is left end and it is fixed so you have to consider an imaginary zero span to the left of a hence the correct answer is a to the left of a question number 7 at the intermediate supports of a continuous beam carrying downward loads the nature of bending moment developed is a sagging or hogging b sagging c hogging and d none of the above now here you can see that we have saw already solved one question before this that what is the nature of bending moment at intermediate support definitely if all the loads are downward it is hogging in nature hence the correct answer is c hogging question number eight for a continuous beam abc the span ab carries a uniformly distributed load of w kilo newton per meter over the entire span the area of free bmd over that span will be a 3wl square by 8 b wl cube by 12 c wl square by 8 and d wl cube by 4 now i have already told you these are the questions which are framed which are best on the problem of a continuous beam so it is necessary to draw the figure once you draw the figure you will know that span ab is carrying a udl so what will be the maximum bending moment positive bending moment at the center of the span will be wl square by 8 and area will be two third of length of the span and maximum bending moment that is two third into w l square by eight into l by two if you calculate this you will get the answer as w l cube by 12 and hence the correct answer is b w l cube by 12 but it is necessary to draw the figure and calculate it this is not a very simple one to the best of my knowledge i think that this such type of question should be asked for two marks okay next question question number nine for a continuous beam abc of span ab carries a udl of w kilo newton per meter over entire span l the value of 6a x upon l for that span will be a 3wl square by 8 b wab into l plus a upon l c wab into l plus b upon l and d w l cube by 4 now we know that the right side of the Clapeyron's three moment theorem is minus 6 a x bar upon l1 plus means minus 6 a 2 x 2 bar upon l2 now this right hand side term 6 a x upon l is asked in this question and as it is a udl so it is a standard one and we have already calculated a so here 6 a x upon l if you put all the values you will get this as a w l cube by 4 hence the correct answer is d w l cube by 4 question number 10 the span a b of a continuous beam a b c is 6 meter it carries a point load of 60 kilo newton at 2 meter from a the area of free bmd for ab will be a 800 b 640 c 240 d 610 now here you will find that positive bending moment maximum positive bending moment will be w ab by l you have to put the value of w as 60 a as 2 b as 4 and l as 6 this w a b by l into because as it is a triangle the area will be half into base into height base will be l and height will be w a b by l if you put all these values you will find out you will find that the correct answer is c240 hence the correct answer is c240 question number 11 
the span AB of a continuous beam ABC is 6 meter. It carries a point load of 60 kN at 2 meter from A. The value of 6AX upon L for AB with respect to A will be A800, B640, C3240 and D610. Now, it is the continuation of the previous question. In previous question, area was asked. Here it is 6AX upon L are asked. So, put 6A area we have calculated X. You calculate X upon L. Okay. And you will find that the correct answer is 640. So, calculate it. So, correct answer is B640. Question number 12. The span BC of a continuous beam ABC is 6 meter. It carries a point load of 60 kN at 2 meter from B. The value of 6AX upon L for BC with respect to C will be A800, B640, C3240 and D610. Now here it is the second span. So you have to take accordingly the value of X bar. Okay, we know 6, uh, we know L. We know area, we know X bar, that is from the right end, it is L plus B upon 3. Hence, the if you calculate it, you will find that its answer will be 800. Hence, the correct answer is A800. Question number 13. The span AB of a continuous beam ABC is 6 meter. It carries a point load 60 kN at center of AB. The area of free BMD for AB will be A135, B640, C270 and D405. Now here, maximum positive bending moment will be WL by 4. Put the values of WL. So you will get WL by 4. That is the height. Base will be L and half into base into height will be area. And if you calculate it, you will find that the answer is 270. Hence, the correct answer is C270. Question number 14. The span AB of a continuous beam ABC is 6 meter. It carries a point load of 60 kN at the center of AB. The value of 6AX upon L for AB will be A800, B640, C3240 and D810. Now, this is the continuation of the previous question. In previous question, we have calculated area of free BMD. Now, put the area here, put the value of X bar, put the value of L. You will find that the answer is 810. Hence, the correct answer is D810. Now, again, I want to give you one instruction that Many of the questions which are presented in this particular video are framed on the problems of continuous beam. Hence, before solving the problem, you have to draw the figure and accordingly, you have to give the answer. Okay, thank you.